close your eyes and watch your breath. Feel it all through the body as it comes in, as it goes out. And try to stay right there. Don't let the mind go wandering off. If it wanders off, it's like a child wandering through a town. It's not really safe. It can get right into. Strangers may come and kidnap it. When the sun comes out, it's exposed to the sun. When it rains, it's exposed to the rain. So bring it back inside and give it something good to play with. That way the kid will not want to go outside. So give it the breath. You can make it, the breath long, you can make it short, you can make it fast, slow, heavy, light. See what kind of breathing feels good for the body right now. And then think of that good breath spreading throughout the whole body. You're providing protection for your mind here. So that when you have to think about things, you go out and you think about them, but then you come right back. Our problem is that we start thinking about things, it's like hopping from one train to another to another, and you find yourself crossing all the way across the country pretty quickly. The mind has no solid place to stay. When it has no solid, secure place to stay, then it loses its, loses its strength, and it's subject to all kinds of things. I mean, your own greed, aversion, and delusion is bad enough, but then you're exposed to a lot of greed, aversion, and delusion out there, too. So let the mind come in and be by itself, so it can sort itself out inside. Because as we protect it from outside influences, we have to watch out for inside influences now, because the inside ones are the real problem. If there weren't already the germs of greed, aversion, and delusion inside the mind, then outside greed, aversion, and delusion wouldn't have any impact on it. But those germs are there, so we have to take care of them. If you're going to take care of them, you have to give a sense of well-being to the mind, too, because a lot of the things that we're going to have to let go of are things that we like. We like our greed. We like our anger. We like our delusion. We play along with it. So the Buddha says, give your mind something better inside to play with. Play with the breath. That way the, the play can actually turn into your your occupation. It's like people learn how to play music. They, first they start playing around with the instrument. And then they get better and better and better, and then they learn that they can support themselves. That kind of playing is good. Playing around with the greed, aversion, and delusion, that was like playing around with, with bandits and thieves. They pull you astray. So get the right playmate inside, the right person to play with. Play with your breath, play with your desire to put an end to suffering inside. Play with your desire to develop good qualities in mind. Generosity. We've been giving already, and we're observing the precepts. What's left is meditation. So you take the well-being that comes from generosity, the well-being that comes from the precepts, and you invest it in the meditation. That way the mind is secure, it's at home. It's safe all around. 